My old PC died recently. The RTX 3090 was fine but the Z87 motherboard was 10 years old and was starting to give up. The 4790K CPU I was using had just 4 cores but overclocking it to 4.8GHz meant that I could still run a Seto Corsa at 2160p at decent frame rates. I had to make a decision between getting a used motherboard or biting the bullet and upgrading to a current generation CPU, motherboard and RAM. Thank you to those of you who voted on the community's page, it was clear that that the majority of you would have gone ahead with the system upgrade instead of getting a used motherboard. So today I'm recording this on the new setup which is a 13700KF on a Z790 board with DDR5 RAM. And we're going to be benchmarking this against the 4th gen 4790K CPU on a Seto Corsa. Since this is a sim racing channel, instead of the usual gaming benchmarks, we're going to be checking out what happens to your FPS when you do the frequently recommended mods that you always hear about, namely content manager, custom shaders patch, sol, and adding on a post-processing filter. You're going to want to stick around for this because the results were pretty interesting. We'll run all our tests at 1080p with graphics settings maxed out and we'll be leaving the default settings for custom shaders patch, sol and the post-processing filter. Starting off with the baseline for our overclocked 4790K and a fresh install of a Seto Corsa with zero mods gets us an average of 122 FPS. Things got interesting really quickly when we added on custom shaders patch with our average FPS actually increasing dramatically to 164 FPS. We couldn't believe the results ourselves so we ran the tests again. And yes, the results were the same. We're guessing it's something to do with optimizations that CSP makes to the game but either way, custom shaders patch will boost your frame rates. Once extra FX was activated in CSP, we saw average frame rates dipping slightly below the baseline to around 115 FPS as we expected. Next, we installed Sol and ran it on the default post-processing filter which got us around 136 FPS. And then we ran it again with Sol selected as our post-processing filter as well as with extra FX activated which got us an average frame rates of around 119 FPS which is within the margin of error if you compare it to a bone stock install of a Seto Corsa. Pretty good when you consider that we were running custom shaders patch, sol, and the sol post-processing filter at this stage. Lastly, we swap out sol as our post-processing filter and use exquisite instead. Without extra FX, the result surprised us with Exquisite getting an average of 158 FPS which is actually higher than the default post-processing option in the Seto Corsa. With Exquisite and Extra FX activated however, we saw this drop to an average of 115 FPS which is still very comparable to what we got when running Sol as the post-processing filter. And now we move on to the 13700KF for a baseline run with a fresh install of a Seto Corsa which got us 345 FPS which is almost triple the frame rate compared to the 4790K. When custom shaders patch was installed, we saw average frame rates of almost 500 FPS and with extra FX activated, this came back down to around 317 FPS. This just goes to show that CSP is great at optimizing a Seto Corsa for more FPS, however once extra FX is activated, the game performance dips slightly compared to a Seto Corsa without any mods. Next, we installed Sol and ran it on the default Assetto Corsa post-processing filter which yielded an average of 436 FPS. And then we ran it again with Sol selected as our post-processing filter as well as with extra FX activated which resulted in average frame rates dropping to 274 FPS. Yes, that's a big drop compared to 400-ish FPS but bear in mind that it's still almost 300 FPS that we're talking about here. Lastly, we swap out Sol as our post-processing filter and use Exquisite instead and we got an average of 319 FPS. If we take a look at CPU usage, our 4th gen CPU was really showing its age with CPU usage consistently high at around 92% when running all of these benchmarks. Things looked very different on the 13700KF as expected with a fresh install of Assetto Corsa seeing just 62% of CPU usage which increased to between 80% and 91% when you include CSP, extra FX and post-processing filters. 
So what can we draw from these results? Well, turns out that a processor that is a decade old is still able to pump out more than 100 FPS consistently when it's paired to a decent GPU. But more interesting than that was that installing custom shaders patch brought about a massive FPS increase of up to 40% more frames per second compared to running a Seto Corsa bone stock. So if you're on an older system and need to squeeze out more FPS, having CSP installed and extra FX turned off will reap you the biggest benefit. However, if your CPU and GPU can handle it, there really isn't much of a performance deficit when you have the suite of must-have mods that comprise CSP, Sol with extra FX turned on, and a post-processing filter. It was fun benchmarking my new system, and while I was expecting a massive improvement in gaming, getting 3 times the FPS really blew me away. Would I have upgraded my PC if I had a choice? Honestly, I would have been happy if my 4790K as 100fps was good enough for me. But I guess it's time to put the old CPU to rest.